following me. Come on, boss. You can't just let this one slide. You've painstakingly built up a reputation as the bona fide Beetle Battle King. You can't let that brat get away scot free. Yeah, that little punk must have used some underhanded trick to catch you off guard. I just know it. Hey, hey, chill, boys, chill. Relax. I just underestimated my opponent. And can you blame me without boring the kid looked? <laughs> so, yeah. No worries, that fight didn't count. Anyway, enough about that. We're gonna stick to the plan, all right? The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl is going ahead. Then we'll bring out Crimson Staff. You know, the one I've been training for years. Ah, just imagine it. A whole audience cheering me on as Crimson Staff gets ready to crush its opponent. That kiddo will be trembling with fear. No tricks this time, no sir. Just an easy win for Ito. <laughs> All right, boss, way to go. But we don't know when Shinobu's coming back. Where do we even start with organizing the almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl? Based on our experience with the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, we'll need to register the event with the Tenryo Commission and obtain a permit. And I think we also need proof of a venue rental. We're going to need to pay for all that stuff somehow. If we want the Extreme Brawl to be even more extravagant than the Drumalong Festival, we'll need to spend at least three times the Mora. Stop! 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 We don't say Tenryo Commission out loud, okay? It gives me migraines. So we need some funds, huh? Easy. Just need to tweak our three-day weekend policy, as well as our one-day week policy. Let's work flat out and do two days on, four days off. That way, we'll work an extra four days between us, which means we'll earn four times as much. <laughs> we'll be raking in the mora. Amazing, boss! Then all we need to figure out is how to make up the numbers for our team. And it doesn't matter who we pick, because you're practically a one-man army. Shoot, that's right. That brat said he'll be bringing five of his top guys to fight us fair and square. But boss, you're the only one in our gang who's any good at beetle fighting. If they come at you in waves, you're gonna have a hard time no matter how good you are. Ah, come on you two, it's a little early to be getting cold feet. You're thinking too many steps ahead. Where's your Arataki gang attitude? Come on, I'll find a way to deal with this easy peasy lavender melon squeezy. Maybe I can hit up my usual beetle fighting crowd. Or maybe I can visit Naganohara Fireworks and see if I can rope that gal into it. Oh, uh, scratch that. I if I did that, then news of me losing to that brat would spread around Hanamizaka. Ugh, my reputation would never recover. True. So, Bull Checker, what are you up to this time? Ah! Oh, you scared me. When did you get here? Don't forget the extreme part. Can't do without the coolest bit of the name, you know. Compadre, you'll understand my passion for beetle fighting eventually. You just need more practice. Ah, so you're looking for a way to recover your pride after a humiliating defeat, are you? What? No, come on, it's not like that. I was ambushed. Ambushed, I'm telling ya! That's right. Some poser calling himself Grandmaster Hanakado challenged the boss in a brief moment of exhaustion after an intense beetle battling session. He used a ridiculously huge Oni Kabuto and flipped boss's beetle over in a matter of seconds. And then he said something like, Welcome to the world of real beetle fighters. Mamaru, Mamaru. Easy on the details, my dude. Anyway, compadre, I've heard that you're talented at pretty much everything. You pick up new skills almost instantly, and before you know it, you're a pro. Paimon knows what you're going to say next, Bullchucker. 
You're going to ask us to avenge you and defeat that Grandmaster Hanakado for free, aren't you? For free? Flying Lavender Melon, do you really think that I, Arataki Ito, have no code of honor? Listen, compadre, if you do this for me, I'll buy you both lunch for the next two months. One bowl of signature ramen every day for two whole months. How's that sound? One bowl every day? Oh, now that's an offer worth considering. <laughs> That's the result of Boss's hard-won victory. Some little phony was going around calling himself the Bonafide Beetle Battle King, and Boss couldn't put up with that. So, Boss challenged him and said whoever wins gets the title. After 92 brutal rounds of beetle battling that lasted one full day and night, the Boss finally emerged victorious. But the kid offered Boss a one free bowl of ramen daily coupon from his family's ramen stall in exchange for giving the title back in two months. We don't know how good his family's ramen is, but the sheer quantity being offered made it too good to refuse. Besides, Boss's beetle fighting techniques are improving so fast that he'll easily have won a more impressive title by two months from now. It's a great deal! The only slight snag is, we forgot to ask him where the ramen stall is. <laughs> don't, don't sweat the details. Anyway, compadre, flying lavender melon, that's my offer. All that ramen, just for you. Wait, we haven't agreed yet? I've already challenged this grandmaster kid, and he accepted. He's gonna bring some reinforcements with him to face off against us. As for the venue, I think I have an idea. But first, compadre, I'm gonna need you to do me a solid and sort out all the pesky paperwork at the Tenryo Commission. Sound good? Good. All right then, my compadre and melon duo, let's hop to it. Sheesh! Ito sure seems excited about all this. Ugh, guess there's no backing out now, huh? Uh, we might as well go along with this. We just have to learn how to beat a fight and help him beat his opponents, right? Hmm, sounds simple enough. Ugh, listen to you! Is Bullchecker's childishness really that infectious? Because one Ito is more than enough. Not bad. Mamaru and Akira have delivered the goods. Let's start setting this baby up. Ow! <laughs> now this is what I call an arena. Looking pretty good. Booyah, compadre. I didn't know you were so handy with this kind of thing. And this awesome poster I made is the cherry on top. It captures the mood perfectly. <laughs> Great carpentry, traveler. And great artwork, boss. This place seems pretty far from Inazuma City. You sure anyone's gonna show up to watch? Oh, you bet they will. When you're as famous as I am, people will flock to watch you. I heard this is the spot where they held the sword fighting contest during the Iridori Festival. That makes this the ideal venue for Oni Kabuto duels. Next up, time to show you my invincible Oni Kabuto, Crimson Staff. Oh, it really is a red Oni Kabuto! Amazing! Huh, Paimon didn't expect you to put in this much effort. Where did you find this Oni Kabuto anyway? Can Paimon take a closer look? <laughs> Go ahead, feast your eyes! But I'm afraid I can't tell you what makes Crimson Staff such a special specimen. That's my little secret. Huh? That smells so familiar. What is that? Wait, Valberry Jam? Huh? What? Oh, uh, you're imagining things. <laughs> you must be, like, super hungry or something. <laughs> yeah, uh... Speaking of which, boss, you haven't applied a protective coating on top of the war paint yet, right? If it rains, then the 9,000 mora we spent on the imported jam is gonna go to waste. 
don't worry. The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl hasn't started yet. There's still time to give Crimson Staff one last layer of protective coating. All right, you guys go grab some flyers and start bringing in the crowds. In the meantime, I'll be helping my compadre and flying lavender melon here get up to speed. After that, we'll celebrate over a meal. Oh, so much going on. I've really got my work cut out for me today. Ooh. This your venue? Not bad. Bigger than I expected. It's Grandmaster Hanakado! He's here! Wait, what? You're not supposed to know about this place yet. Aren't you forgetting something, Bonafide Beetle Battle King? We elite beetle fighters can sense each other's presence. Or how else would we have crossed paths last time? Looks to me like you're still busy frantically preparing. Is that because you don't have a clue how to beat us? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, in case you didn't know, me and my Oni Kabuto gotta get our brainwaves in sync before a battle. And until we're ready to roll, I always conserve my energy and keep a low profile. I just underestimated the strength of your Beetle Battler's six sense is all. Huh? So that's the kid Ito lost to? Yeah, he does look pretty normal. But the way he talks is pretty unique. It almost feels like he was born to be Bull Chucker's arch nemesis. <clears throat> Grandmaster Anacado! You did well to track me down, I'm impressed. Looks like this bonafide Beetle Battle King needs to watch out for pretenders to the throne. But you're about to regret showing up here uninvited because you have just earned yourselves a pre-Beetle Brawl trouncing. Good. You seem more confident this time. And it sounds like you actually have a game plan. But if I crushed you right away, I'd miss out on all the fun. So I'll let my subordinates play with you first. <laughs> Using your minions to size up the competition now? Then we'll just send out Flying Lavender... Uh, <clears throat> nope, nope. If Flying Lavender Melon's representing the Arataki gang, we gotta rise to the occasion. We'll need a better title. Hmm. Uh, ah, got it. We'll send Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon out to teach you a lesson! Huh? Why Paimon? Boss! Are we seriously going to fight them right now? We haven't had time to spread the news about the match yet. Also, your compadre and your compadre's melon haven't even tried beetle fighting before. You make a good point. But the fact is, the kid's here now, and I ain't about to back down. We'll have to put the publicity side of things on hold for now. As for beetle fighting techniques, I'll be mentoring Flying Lavender Melon- Nope, nope! Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon from the side. Battling's the best way to learn. Doesn't matter if you lose. Hey! Why are you assuming that Paimon will lose before it's even started? Go, White Iron Lavender Melon! Show him the might of the Arataki Gang! Sending you out first is part of my elaborate strategy, you know. I got my inspiration from a Liyue tale that Shinobu told me. Face their strongest with your weakest, their weakest with your average, and their average with your strongest. Then you're guaranteed to win two out of three rounds. You may be talented, but you lack practical battle experience. With all the elite beetle battlers here, I'm afraid to say you're a small fry. By sending a dopey little melon up first, we can get one of their best fighters to waste all their strength on the low-flying fruit. <laughs> We'll make short work of them this time. Um, but according to your logic, if you're planning to face their leader, Grandmaster Hanakado, doesn't that make you our weakest fighter? Huh? That can't be right. Gah, you little twerp. I never said my strategy was exactly the same as the one in the story. Fine, fine, fine. Pine will do it already. But prepare to eat your words, mister! Low flying fruit? Hmm. Hi, Mom will show you!
Ugh, what a puny opponent. And what a garish Onikabuto. Pathetic. You can paint your Onikabuto any color you want. The only thing that counts in battle is their electro affinity, the source of their power. Being able to pick out a prize Onikabuto from the crowd is all that matters. That's what makes or breaks every beetle fighter. That's a strange theory. Even Paimon knows that performance in battle matters the most. Hmm. Honing your beetle fighting skills is the most important thing. That's exactly right, Minnie Melon. Nice sounding theory, but it ain't gonna help you if you don't know how to fight. Listen up, White Iron Lavender Melon. You need to watch your opponent's Oni Kabuto closely so you can dodge its attacks. Then in the opening right afterwards, you strike back! As long as the opponent's in range, Crimson Staff will hit him hard. Got it! So when the opponent attacks, we get our Oni Kabuto to retreat. And when there's an opening, we move it forward and strike while they're still recovering. Sounds simple enough. Paimon will give it a go. The Traveler heard the explanation too, so Paimon bets we're both ready for battle. Are you seriously learning beetle fighting right before a match? You underestimate who you're up against. Enough talk. Put your Onikabuto on the table and show me what you've got. You sure showed them who's boss. You, my little friend, have earned yourself an egg roll later today. Ah, huh? yeah. Ah, uh, Grandmaster Hanakado. I lost to a complete novice. I've let you down. Don't worry. It seems that there are a force to be reckoned with. We should inform the other generals to prepare for battle. You defy my expectations once again, Bonafide Beetle Battle King. I didn't expect you to find such formidable warriors so quickly. From today onward, I will send one of my generals here daily to face you. Be sure that you survive until the final battle. Otherwise, your declaration of war will become the laughingstock of the entire beetle fighting world. Aw, oh, wait just a minute. Leaving so soon? What are you, scared? <sighs> He's so annoying. Turning up here uninvited, talking to us in that smug tone, then taking off before we're done with him. From what Grandmaster Hanagato said, seems like he's gonna send some of his minions to challenge us. Guess we'll have another battle before too long, huh? Ah, <sighs> that's right. Looks like we won't have time to make the almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl the grandest event ever organized by the Arataki gang. Meh, works for me. An audience would have been sweet, but at the end of the day, we came here to battle. And battling is what we're gonna do. Look at you flying, uh, sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon. <laughs> Defeating your first powerful enemy, starting to make a name for yourself as a fighter, huh? Really gets me into the fighting spirit! Gets me thinking about myself back in the day when I first entered the Hanamizaka beetle battling scene. Yeah, taking on the pros for the first time. Oh, so did you also take down an expert when you first started, Bull Checker? The boss got brutally beaten. 
Now, I think Boss is saying he was inspired by White Iron Lavender Melon's performance because he himself was defeated back in the day. Come on, that's all in the past now. Spilled milk, water under the bridge. It's up to the three of us now. Me, the bonafide Beetle Battle King, Paimon, the sky-cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, and Traveler, the, uh, the Oni King's right hand. The three of us have to unite to take down Grandmaster Hanakato and all his minions. Before we face each opponent, we need to talk strategy. As long as we win more matches than we lose, Grandmaster Hanakato will have to face me personally. Ball Checker seems to be taking this all pretty seriously. Still, that beetle fight was pretty fun. And we do get two months worth of free ramen if we help him win this. Let's go along with it and do our best. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Just follow my lead and give your all in battle. Grandmaster Hanakato's about to get more than he bargained for! <laughs> <laughs> 